This is Matt, and these are the metal vinyl releases for April 2021. Starting off with April 2nd, we have a reissue for Forbidden. Their second album, Twisted Into Form, has been re-released through Century Media Records. Um, This is an exclusive to Century Media, in case you didn't know that. Uh, It can be found at their official website. Uh, Single LP, no bonus tracks, unfortunately. Uh, The vinyl variant will be lime green, limited to 200 copies. And if you didn't already know, Century Media had also released Forbidden's first album as a reissue, uh, Forbidden Evil, in case you don't know, and that was also limited to 200 copies. Uh, I should tell you that this isn't the first time Twisted Into Form has been reissued to vinyl. Uh, Back on Black also put out a set, a 2LP set, actually. Uh, That was back in 2008. Uh, It was colored vinyl and was also limited edition. As for the Century Media version, uh, it currently shows a ship date of March 30th. Uh, So if you buy it, you might get it on the actual release date. Uh, You know if the postal system complies. It looks to be a good reissue, and I don't have an OG of this particular title, so I might have to consider it. Also on April 2nd, we have another reissue, this time for the self-titled debut album from Saigon Kick. Uh, Originally released in 1991, but this time reissued through Real Gone Music. Uh, Saigon Kick is a bit hard to describe if you haven't already heard them. They're kind of hard rock heavy metal, but they're also psychedelic and they're also a little punky. Uh, they'd likely fall into the alt-metal category uh, that we all remember from the 90s. Uh, the album also came out on vinyl in Europe when it was originally released, uh, but this is the first time we're seeing it stateside on vinyl. Uh, vinyl variant will be white and limited to 900 copies. Uh, it also includes a lyric sheet and inner sleeve. Uh, Real God Music also states that the pre-orders will ship before the street date, if that's of interest. And I don't know, I vaguely remember Saigon Kick from my old college radio days, but in general, they just weren't on my radar, so I might pass on this one. Moving on to April 16th, we have the third full-length album from American black and speed metal band Bewitcher. This is Curse Be Thy Kingdom to be released by Century Media Records. Final variants will be Classic Black, as well as Orange and Black Burst for the U.S., the latter of which limited to 200 copies. As for the European market, there will also be Dark Green, also limited to 200 copies. All variants will be on a single LP release, which is often good news for a lot of the folks who don't like two record sets, especially unnecessary ones. Uh, If you want to check out a couple music videos, they are available. Uh, There's one for Valley of the Ravens, as well as Mystifier, White Knight City. And I recently just got into this band. I bought Under the Witching Cross, uh, maybe about a month or so ago. So I'm definitely looking forward to this new release. Probably going to pick it up. Also on April 16th, we have the 15th studio album from American death metal legends Cannibal Corpse. It's entitled Violence Unimagined, and it'll be released by Metal Blade Records. Vinyl variants for the U.S. are red inside bone vinyl, as well as transparent beer with red splatter. Uh, For Europeans, you'll get the pot green vinyl variant. That's probably exciting for a few of you there. All variants come with a 28-page booklet and a download card. Uh, Bundles with t-shirts are also available, including one with a red vinyl variant. Uh, But these bundles are selling out fast, so act accordingly. Uh, No numbers for the pressings available at this time. Uh, Metal Blade states that the record should ship on April 9th, one week before the street date. So if you're one of those impatient sorts, you probably should jump on this one. Uh, To be honest, not much of a Cannibal Corpse fan, but it's clear that they're pretty big with a lot of folks. So I'm sure many of you are psyched to see this one come out. On April 16th, Candlelight Records will be reissuing the 2012 EP from Havoc entitled Point of No Return. Uh, Good news for those who were going after a lot of the reissues that came out last year from this thrash metal band. Uh, I know they're quite popular. In addition to the two tracks written by the band, there are also a couple cover songs. uh, Arise, originally done by Sepultura, as well as Postmortem slash Raining Blood by Slayer, of course. Uh, A vinyl variant is Transparent Brown Marble Splatter. Uh, It's limited edition, but there are no numbers available on just how many are out. There are music videos for the two original songs on the EP, uh, which are the title track, as well as From the Cradle to the Grave, so check those out. And wrapping up April 16th, we have a reissue that I know a whole lot of metal fans have been waiting for, perhaps even myself, and this is the music on vinyl release of Slaughter in the Vatican, the debut album from X Hoarder, originally released in 1990. The single LP is limited edition, 2,000 individually numbered copies, 
on 180 gram silver vinyl, and this will also come with an insert. Uh, we haven't really seen a vinyl reissue of this album since Roadrunner did one in 2010. Uh, they did three different colors, uh, green, red, or black. So this particular reissue is definitely a welcomed thing. So Slaughter in the Vatican is a classic thrash metal album, very brutal for its time, uh, still holds up to this day. I'm pretty excited about this coming out, and you know what also needs to happen? Music on vinyl, maybe you can put out The Law, which is their follow-up album. I would love to see that as a vinyl reissue as well, if I dare to dream. Moving on to April 23rd, we have a live album from Motorhead entitled Louder Than Noise, live in Berlin. It was recorded back in December of 2012. The album will be released by Silver Lining Music and should be widely available upon release. It'll be available in a 2LP 180 gram black vinyl set with a gatefold jacket and printed inner sleeves. Um, it'll be also available in a box set edition, which includes the two LPs, a CD, a DVD of the performance, as well as a Motorhead branded Passport cover, just in case you want one of those. Uh, 15 tracks in total, and the set list covers quite the discography uh, for them, uh, not just the old classics. Also, a video clip for the live version of Over the Top is available at the official Silver Lining Music YouTube channel, so you should check that out. It's definitely a good way to get a taste of that DVD. Uh, not sure if I need this album, but I will be checking out more clips on it and probably giving it more thought. I do like Motorhead, though. Jumping to April 30th, we have the fifth album from British Thrasher's Evile, set to be released on Napalm Records. It's called Hell Unleashed. Uh, this is the first studio album from Evile since 2013, so there's definitely been some anticipation for this title. Vinyl variants are black or red for all markets. Uh, the red vinyl is limited to 200 copies, and both variants come in a gatefold jacket. You should also check out the music video, of course, uh, for the title track. There's also one for Gore. Uh, both are available at the official Napalm Records YouTube channel. Um, I've been enjoying what little I've heard of this band quite a bit. Um, I am a little late to the party on Evile, but I might look into this album. I did like what I've heard already. Also on April 30th is the first studio album from Axwitch in 36 years. This is Out of the Ashes, Into the Fire, to be released by Pure Steel Records. Uh, in case you missed this band, much like I did, Axwitch is a traditional metal band from Sweden. They have a few other albums under their belt from 1983 to 1985. Again, I don't know how I missed this band. They're actually pretty decent. Um, very shocked at that. Uh, but the old stuff is definitely worth hearing. A uh, vinyl variant for the new album is Classic Black and limited to 300 copies. Uh, Pre-orders for this title begin on April 16th. Uh, that's two weeks from the street date. And if you can do that at the Pure Steel Records website, that's probably the place to go. Uh, not sure if other vendors will be handling it, but, you know, that's what Google's for. I'm waiting to hear more of it before I buy it, of course. But, again, if the old stuff is any indicator, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, let's be honest. I'll probably check into it. Maybe I'll get it. And also on April 30th is the 25th anniversary edition of Fear Factory's second album, Demanufacture, to be released by Runout Groove. Uh, the original vinyl has been out of print since about 2007, and this anniversary edition will be the very first time it's available on vinyl in the U.S. Uh, the album has been remastered from the original tapes, if that's of interest. Uh, it's a three LP set in transparent blue, black and white mixed vinyl, and also comes with a poster. Uh, the set includes previously unreleased live material recorded at OzFest back in 1996. And pre-orders for this began back in October of 2020, believe it or not. Uh, and it is limited edition, so you should probably act fast if you can act at all. Uh, this is the era of Fear Factory that I can actually stand um, and, and occasionally like. Um, I'm on the fence with this one, but if it's something you dig, you should get it. Uh, but you don't need me to tell you that. As for albums I announced last month that I bought, there were a couple. I got the Black Sabbath reissues. Here's Mob Rules. Here's Heaven and Hell. I'll be talking about these in a lot more depth on this month's episode of Vinyl Hall. So in that post, you should definitely check into it. Of course, if you know of any current or future metal vinyl releases, you should definitely let me know in the comments. Give me the band, the album, the street date, all of that. Always super helpful. A lot of you do that for me, and I super appreciate it. Speaking of helpful, if you found this video to be such for you, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. Also share the video with some friends, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. Of course, this is the Accusation Network. I do metal vinyl collecting videos every single week, usually one time a week, sometimes even twice a week. Who knows? 
And if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, by the way, thank you for that. And you want to support the network in a more extended capacity? Definitely check out my Patreon account. It's at patreon.com slash the accusation network. Check out the reward tier, see how you can contribute. Uh, one of the things I have there is exclusive material, but I also have these videos that you're watching now up to seven days early just for patrons. So definitely go there, check it out, and you know, be a patron. It's fun. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for even more metal vinyl releases coming next month.